Hello and welcome to this week's coffee vlog. It's now Friday the 4th of August, would you believe? Where's the year going to? Um, I'm heading home, it's nearly quarter to six. It's been a, uh, it's been quite a busy week this week, to be honest. Uh, one way or the other, it's just been whew, loads on. Uh, Work-wise, I've not actually been to Carlisle, uh, slightly annoyingly, because I wanted to get that out of the way, but unfortunately what I've been waiting for to take there uh, has decided to take its merry old time to arrive, so um, should have been here start the week really. Um, I was ho what I was hoping anyway, but due to some... Um, Morning. K-band radar check speed. Issues with the the distribution network through Europe last well last week yeah so last week um it didn't turn up uh, so and it's still it was arriving in Manchester today. Shh. <laughs> uh, I think that's the range's doors doing that. Um. So yeah, I'm still waiting to sort that out. Looks like it's going to be Wednesday, maybe next week. I'll have be going back up there so bit of a bit of a pain I'm gonna out of the way this week uh, and of course the person that's waiting for the stuff isn't so happy that they're waiting but uh, can't really do anything about it you know if stuff gets delayed en route from Turkey it gets delayed um, so yeah other than that um, yeah it's just been crazy busy and then Wednesday um, all of a sudden started selling aero presses on um, Amazon uh, which is a bit odd because I hardly well I just don't generally sell aero presses on Amazon uh, because the um, the people who bring them in the aerobi distributor in the UK um, do them on prime um, for Amazon so they obviously ship a few pallets of them to the Amazon warehouse and Amazon does the fulfillment fulfillment <laughs> um, so I just don't get to sell any aero presses because of that because um, you can't beat the price either um, even if you like 50p less than prime people go for prime because you just get it next day don't you so it's dead easy and simple is it is he just literally gone through the red lights what a eh, people eh so um I don't know if that the webcam caught that webcam dash cam caught that or not. But yeah, he drove between the two parked lines of traffic and then just drove through the red lights and waited for a car to stop and then just went on his merry way, <laughs> regardless of the rules. Um so yeah, um just evidently what happened is of course um if the stock runs out that's available from Prime it goes to the next lowest price seller to get the buy it now button which happened to me so Wednesday I sold a load of air press and yesterday I sold a tons and tons I had a load of parcels for Hermes all of a sudden uh, and then sometime during the night he, they must have gained stock again because this morning it was back at um, being available from Prime so um, that little brief burst of Aeropress sales has gone again, but it was good while it lasted. A uh, bit of extra money, so always good. Um, so obviously that kept me busy doing all those invoices and sorting all them out. And then I've also um, had to get um, replace the fan, cooling fan in the, the Roadster. That's what I've been getting on with today, and it's a complete ball ache of a job, to be perfectly honest. It's difficult to get in you got loads and loads of um, bolts to take off to get the sides and back off then you got to try and extract it out from where it is inside bolted in place and then when you get it out try and dragging it through the, the back end of the machines a bit of a job and then you got to separate all the fan off from the motor and then attach all the fan to the new motor and mounting and shove it all it's just it's a pain so I've got all that done um, but I just I've got to tweak its position somewhat cause when it's getting up to full speed now it's getting like a vibration rub on it 
so uh, that's no good at all. So I am going to be uh, twiddling about with that. I'll do that on Monday though because it got too late in the day and I was tired. So <laughs> like nah. Uh, and I've not emailed myself Rich Analysis stuff. I just realised because I've been so busy. Uh, but I do that, hadn't I? Next. Right, let's go get the parcels dropped and I'll be back. Okay, bye. Okay, so I remembered to email myself Mr. Nellis's words of wisdom. So we'll do a quick run through them now to save me doing them at home and getting lynched by people. Uh, so, his friend David's feeling better since Sunday, so that's good news. Well done, David. Uh, new Sky Sports channels, especially Sky Sports football for me. Oh, Sky, sorry. Uh, new piece all op opened on Yorkshire Day is the first play Chris Pearson went at 8 to 9 a.m. since he's a councillor to watch it opening. Then his uh, Richard's mum went from 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. before going back to work at Northgate House and finally I went from 11 till 2. And do you think you will go this weekend? Uh, I might go this weekend, I'll see what we get up to with the family, got lots to do, so um, maybe and see how we get on. Uh, didn't get time to go down on Tuesday, I was going to try to, but I was busy because the youngest had a dental appointment, I had to take him there. And I got back to work, I did a few bits at work, and then it poured with rain. Probably about three o'clock, I think it was, it absolutely siled down. So um, that wasn't... Uh, it wasn't great either, but yeah, maybe this weekend, Richard, I don't know. Um, 5.8 million people, especially Richard, listened to Classic FM for the channel's 25th anniversary on the 7th of September. Oh, very good. Um, the death of Robert Hardy, uh, yes. The Nut, jo the Nut Job 2, that was a good film, Nut Job, actually. Uh, that was a cartoon film um, uh, about squirrels, I think. Um, and he's going swimming at Huddersfield Swimming Pool on Sunday. So, um, yeah, swimming will be good at Huddersfield. I don't know, we went, to, I took the youngest to Rocked last Sunday afternoon, the indoor climbing. Um, so we got on and did a bit of that. Um, it's quite a while since we've been, and I think, uh, you know, he's lost a, a bit of his, his sort of upper arm, upper arm and body strength. So, uh, it was a bit tiring for him after a while, but he got, you know, got some fair heights up the bouldering and whatever else, and going along and around, especially around the corners, there's some sort of um, areas where you've got to transfer around, and it's kind of tricky. You're going to sort of like throw yourself round, as it were, to get round it, so he did well. Um, enjoyed that, so we'll have to remember keep going back. He wants to do a bit of rope climbing, but I think he's going to have to do a few bouldering sessions to build his strength up again. Uh, otherwise the rope climb will be a bit, you know, he's going to not get too high up and then get tired and have to come back down again, so that won't be so good. Um, so, yes, and um, I also, on the subject of Richard Nellis, I, um, I did surprise him on Wednesday by uploading a vlog that wasn't my weekly vlog. What a surprise. Um, yes, because um, anyone who has already seen from the channel, uh, I uploaded a, a sort of vlog type video on Wednesday, but that is actually on Steemit, or about Steemit and my Steemit channel, uh, and I posted that for Steemit just for anyone. On there was interested, probably no one, but you know. Uh, so I did that one just to sort of be an introduction to, to people on Steemit about what I kind of do and different things. Um, I joined Steemit in March, and like I say, I just uh, I don't know, I never quite got the idea of what I was doing with it on Sunday morning. Uh, I was at a bit of a loose end, and I've sort of done everything else I could think of. Other than play Star Wars Battlefront, for some reason I, I didn't really feel in the mood for that, which is unusual for me. Uh, it's normally my sort of thing on a Sunday and Saturday morning if I'm up early before everyone else is to, uh, to have a few rounds on that. Um, you've probably noticed that I've not done many uploads recently, just not been not a chance to play, to be honest. But um, I have actually got quite a few uploaded that I've not made public yet on YouTube, so every now and again. Every few days, I just like pop along um, into there and just make one of those active again. Zone, and the thing is, limit. I can't First write about what happened in it because I've no idea because some of them are ages old. Um, so the description probably doesn't match anything that's happening. Um, but you know, it's uh, 
it's there just for people to look through general interest sort of thing. Um, so yeah, on the whole, what else has been going on really? Last weekend, like I said, we did The Rock. Saturday we did some, uh, oh God, Saturday actually, yeah, Saturday. Saturday we put the roof on the first of the, the Castle Fort Tower things. Oh, what a job that was. Uh, so yeah, we got a, a big wooden roof. I'll, um, if I get a chance, I'll take a picture of the amazing structure. <laughs> um, so we've got this um, triangular roof, again made out of um, wood panels. Um, and uh, yeah, we've kind of lifted it up because we've got four uprights to sort of balance it on. And we got it up and it wasn't sitting right and we were messing about. Then we took the uprights down and tried to just sit it on the other bits and that didn't work right either. So then we ended up moving it onto next door's shed because that's next to where our structure is. So we had to move it onto their shed. So we could then um, re-put up the struts again. And the decision was what we'd do is we'd do uh, like a frame between the struts around to join them up and then it could rest on that whole frame then because what we were trying to do is stick it on four uprights so like four sticking up poles and that wasn't working at all so we did a whole frame around those four poles that we put back again and uh, amazingly it kind of slid along there and, and kind of fitted fine um, the missus insisted it's tilting forward slightly I'm like no it's fine whips up let's just leave it there and be happy shall we <laughs> uh, so yes, that was the decision to be made that we're just going to leave it now. So it's up there, and we I managed to um, fasten it on because, of course, the devilish wind that took the trampoline away could take that away. So it's well fastened at the moment, but it needs some more uh, some more connecting into position. Otherwise, it's going to be um, you know I don't want it blowing off <laughs> really through all the effort we went to putting the thing up anyway. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that was all happening Saturday, uh, Sunday rocked. We work-wise, like I say, it's just I don't know. I'm kind of pooped. Um, we got a list of all stuff that the VAT men decided they needed information on um, and instructions on things that wouldn't quite do exactly in the way they would like me to do them, uh, and also a load of things where they thought I'd. Um, recovered the wrong amounts of that and having investigated and I found it's entirely DHL's fault for supplying confusing VAT invoices uh, well import VAT invoices um, and uh, yeah what seems to have happened is I, I've been reclaiming the VAT off those invoices which I shouldn't have done I should have been taking it off the C79 but I didn't know that because no one told me because I don't tell you these things I just expect you to know that on the form when you get the form C79 that is when you enter the import back and not the time when you get the invoice for the import back off whatever shipping agent sends you and of course you get the invoice from the shipping people I'm trying to run this guy over uh, from the shipping people to say you know pay this money for your import back and then you have to claim that money back later well obviously you're going to when you pay it and you get the invoice and then you enter it onto your accounting software, you're going to enter in the details off the invoice for reclaiming the VAT at that point. Not wait for the pretty bit of paper that turns up a month and a half later, awfully. Um, but apparently that's what I'm supposed to do, so I'm going to have to do that now. Uh, oh, come on, woman. I could have gone. You know, everyone, some 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 people like this one come flying up. And another one's just sort of total up. Oh, and he's going to come up anyway, but I'm going to get going for him. Confusing roundabout, it really is. Oh, he's been round in a circle anyway. <laughs> what a loom by. Um, so, yeah, um, but what seems to happen, I don't really understand because they're not very consistent with it. Sometimes DHL were putting duty on as well as that. And unfortunately, what I was reading was the total lines so the total and then the administration fee which is the bit you can't reclaim um, so it was like what I thought was VAT and then administration fee in total and that's what I was putting in and it turns out the VAT bit wasn't VAT it was VAT and duty and I can't claim the duty just the VAT so that's why the figures that say don't match don't match because I did that which wasn't right <sighs> 
so I'm having to go through and get all the paperwork and then find where the correct amounts of the C79 forms and then show them all that and then it will have to be totaled up to see how much I owe them back because I claim too much back um, and we need to request some more of those forms that mysteriously we don't have um, I'm sure we do have them just they're not where they're supposed to be and <laughs> hunting through everywhere is kind of a bit tedious so uh, not doing that um, so that kind of absorbing lots of time, you know, finding old invoices, especially the DHL ones, and dragging, going through and then trying to match up with the C79s, the correct amounts, and then it's all having to go into a file to send back to the VAT people with, what are you doing, you loon bag? Everybody's a loon around here. So, nearly back home again, and uh, yeah, so I'm pretty tired, um, not aided at all by all that pulling and pushing and lifting of heavy motors for the roaster. Uh, so, see Ellis and Colby are out again. Oh, Ellis, pay attention young man. We're going to watch these lot. Just got no fear. Well, the thing is, you could have a bit of fear of the road because there's some absolute nutters, especially around here, flying about. <sighs> Amazed about more accidents, really. So, yeah, I'm off in for a rest because I'm pooped, to be honest, and it's been kind of a draining week. Uh, and we'll see uh, we'll see what happens next week um, and that's the camera for the dash cam turned off so that really has pooped everything up now isn't it right that's it now I've made a mess of everything I'm going into sulk <laughs> have a good weekend and week next week and I'll see you in next week's coffee vlog okay see ya